Well, hey, I was down at my local shop today, and guess what was on the shelves? Series 7, the trash pack. Can you believe it? The trashies have got the Series 7. This series is called the Junk Germs. The ultra rares in this series are the X-Ray Trashies, and I can also see the 12 packs have got some color-changing trashies. Ooh, but hey, maybe the ultimate goal is to keep an eye out for those limited edition Super Snot Trashies. I'm excited. You better be excited. Let's find out what trash lies inside these toys. Well, before I go into opening frenzy of these two, and I'll tell you what, I really do love reviewing these trash pack toys. Let's take a look at the series colours that we've had along the way. Oh my goodness, I hope I've got these lined up the right way. Here we go. Series 1, I believe, was this colour here. That was series 2. The orange series 3 was blue. The red bins were series 4. Series 5 was that little toilet. Series 6 was the eggs. And there was the Ghost series. This was a very interesting one, a bit hard to find. They were only in, I only ever saw them in Big W. I can't help the people overseas because I'm not overseas, but that was a bit of a different one. And Series 7 looks like they are, well, test tubes of sorts. And if you're wondering which theme style did I like the most, well, earlier on, of course, there were the trash cans. I actually liked it when they got away from that and started to use the toilet and that egg there. And why I liked the toilet was because there's something about toys and toilets mashup that I liked I don't know I think children are into that I like this egg here because you'd actually split that you could mold things in there like play-doh and chocolate although I shouldn't say that but that was a little bit versatile and had a bit more playability and this was just weird and I liked it for that reason okay let's bust the germs open and get into this five pack of these um, germ junk germ trashies I need the, the strength of Goliath here I think here they come Trying to keep it in frame. It's always difficult doing these incredible unboxing shots. Oh, look at those test tubes. Ooh, something spooky about test tubes. Don't know if I should say it on YouTube, but I think when I see those. Well, before we get into the trashies, let's take a look at this information here. It might um, teach me something before I start yabbering on. Okay, the booklet's got some games here. There's Jumping Germs. Looks like the beakers from the Series 12 is needed for that one. There's Grotty Golf. The test tube standing up, looks like you um, try and knock things down. I hope I'm right there. The tunneling test tubes, looks like 10 pin bowling, but with test tubes and trashies, how weird is that? And the beaker build up once again. I think the beakers are in this 12 packs. And on the flip side of this little leaflet is the whole series. And I tell you what, this looks like a whole bunch of trash. And that's good trash, not bad trash. For a clearer picture of the sub-themes of Series 7 Junk Germs, I'll grab the pictures from the back of a 12-pack. Well, there are the guys that everyone wants. They are the limited edition Super Snots in this series. Ooh, there are the Germ Worms. I'm sure there are some there that some of you can relate to. Well, there's your mum's favourite and probably the most common, the Household Germs. Ooh, yeah, go down to your local gym and you can get a good serving of these guys. And if you're a pet lover, there's nothing more disturbing than some pet germs. Be very careful of hospitals, they are full of sick people and vicious viruses. These are the ultra rare trashies in series 7, they are the x-ray trashies. And here are the cold and flu colour change and they are regarded as the special edition trashies. And that little monster there tells you which trashies are which in this series. Well from what I can see this is one very evil group of nasty trashies. Well there's my visible trashy, it looks like something from outer space. It's quite interesting, it's a bit different to those other series that we've had. Here are the test tubes, they're nice, they've got details on them. The trashies are hiding inside. There's also a bit of dressing in here in the sense of that cardboard. I think there's another trashy hidden up in there somewhere. There he is. I'll take a look at those test tubes next, and there are two more trashies in here. Remembering, this is the five pack. Come on out, you little trashy. Don't be scared of me, I'm your papa. Well, here's a look at the test tubes. There's the top of it. There's a bit of a germ there and some virus stuff there, gunk, you know. Science labs are like that. They're full of germs and stuff. They're actually very nice. Of course, the lid's, lid comes off that. And there's says the trash pack there. It's got a bit of a measuring scale on the side here. And a bit of grime and germ details. Very different to the other series that we've seen. And I think anything like this is going to be a winner. And although it may not be obvious, but these test tubes actually stand up on their ends. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll come along and release these guys from their plastic bags, and then we'll take a look at what we've got. Well, here's our first two non-visible. That guy there is Diarrhea. He's from the Vicious Viruses, and this one here is an X-Ray Trashy, and it's called Hamster Germs. Well, the X-Ray Trashy is quite nice. There's a little baby Trashy inside there. 
I think you can make one of those glitzy trashies like I made recently if I opened it up and got that one out. But you know what? I'm going to leave them together because he looks so cute as he is. Oh, imagine meeting these three guys in a dark alley one night. That visible one there in our five pack was the oozing eyeball. That done there is called Flea Bite. And this one here's a real nasty one called the Locker Room Lurgy. Seeing that has your second guessing going to the gym. So there's my five pack guys. I'm very happy with what I've got there. I'm glad I've got an x-ray trashy. But the one that I like in that group there is actually diarrhea. And you know what? I like these test tubes for the fact that they're clear. And you know what I'm going to do next is you can throw your trashies in here. It's all nice and transparent and see-through. And it's like a little storage thing for your trashies. And that's really nice to do. Look at that. It's a test tube full of germs. Yuck. Well, I'll tell you what, this Series 7 is so different to the previous series, but you know what? These test tubes bring a whole different sort of playability to the Trash Pack gang. Well, it's time to come in and trash this 12 pack of Series 7. I always say buying the 12 pack is the best way to buy these toys. I always feel you get a better selection of trashies, but let's open it up and find out. Okay, everyone, time for the unboxing. You know, I hope this company rewards the person who thought up this theme. You know, after opening that 5 pack, I've got a feeling this is going to be the most popular theme. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on that, the people who like trash packs. Because I'll tell you what, kids always like little weird things like test tubes and beakers. Even my adult brain's getting excited. There's the two visible ones. I want to try and keep those away for the side. And there are the other things. Oh yeah. Okay, out of the 12 pack, we've got our little instruction booklet and series guide. We don't need to see that. We saw that in the 5 pack. There's a beaker there. There's our two visible trashies and there are two test tubes. Well, let's open up this evil beaker full of germs and see what crawls out. Ugh, yuck. But because it was a 12 pack, we've got two test tubes full of viruses here. Out they come, you little trashies. Oh, wonder what I've got in this 12 pack. Okay, I've got a bit of unbagging to do here, which is always a bit of fun to get these guys out. Okay, let's kick off and identify the two visible trashes in the 12 pack. That guy there is called Toilet Bug, and next to Toilet Bug is Dirty Dumbbells. And I have to say, that Dirty Dumbbells is a very unusual looking trashy. Ooh, the next two are fairly ugly. I've got Fish Fungus there, and that one there is called Gym Germs. Maybe I've been reminded why I don't like going to the gym. The next two is Ringworm here, and Kitty Cold. Ringworm looks like a slug with spider eyes. Ooh, the next nasties is the flu bug here. And bin juice. And that juice you find at the bottom of your garbage bin, well, it's got a smell that you just cannot describe. Well, the next two, there's Locker Room Lurgy, but in the blue variety. And there's one of the x-ray guys in his scabby bandage. And because I'm a curious little germ, let's see if we can see what's inside Scabby Bandage here, being the X-ray trashy. <gasps> oh, what is that? Can anyone explain that? It looks like some sort of bug. Mind you, it's a germy sort of thing, so what else would you find inside a Scabby Bandage? And our last two in this incredible 12 pack of trash, there's Workout Warts. And this one here is called Brainworm. And from what I can work out, these are the cold and flu colour change trashies. Well, I'm just getting my head around the way these colour change. I've got some just normal, I call it warm water there. That just resets it back to clean look. And if I put this trashy into the cool water here, which I've got some ice here, I can make him look very, very nasty. He's got all sorts of nasty bugs in him there. But don't worry, we can clean this germ up very easily by just putting him in here into the warm water but it'll actually just dissipate and get back to clean uh, once he's away from the cold it's only when he hits the cold oh my goodness me he looks very very manky and I should show you brain worm as well he's clean because it's just normal temperature if I put him into the cold he's gonna start to look very messed up I don't know how to do this with toys I don't know how the color changing things works I can pull it off by just putting in some Warm water, there he's clean again. You know, I think he looks better when he's all manky, don't you? I like him covered in germs. Okay, here's a bit of a look, last look at the trashies I got out of my 12 pack. That's a series 7 of the trash pack. Very interesting that we've got test tubes and beakers now. Personally, I feel that's going to work, but then again, it's going to be the trash pack fans who decide that, not me. But I do like this series because it seems so different to the trash pack series that we've had before. 
And if I bring in my 5 pack and add it to the 12 pack, look at the trash pack fun I've got lined up now. This is becoming one very mighty germ army and it looks very, very impressive. And you know what, as I sit here looking at this pile of germy trash in front of me, I can't believe that this toy based on trash has gone so far. Series 7, you know, back when I first saw Series 1, 2 and 3, I thought, this is going to peter out, but it hasn't. This toy has become ultra popular, and I think this Series 7 is the best. That's my personal opinion. I like the beakers, I like the test tubes, I like the theme of this one, uh, and can they pull it off to be Series 8, 9 and 10? That's the big question. Look, I hope you enjoyed this toy review. Uh, do check out the Trash Pack if you can. It's one of my favourite toys. It's a great thing to collect. And if you've lasted this long in this video, as always, I'm going to say thank you and bye for now. You know, a lot of people ask me, did I buy those toys or were they given to me from the people who make them? I actually purchased these toys. Let's take a look at the receipt. Well, here's the receipt from my local Kmart. I don't shop at Target for the moment because it's like a big wanted poster at my local Target. As a YouTuber for causing confusion and delay. Anyway, the trash pack, the five pack, cost me seven dollars a pop. I bought three of them. Also, interestingly, there is the color changing Hot Wheels car. They are also seven dollars. I bought two of them, so they're the same price as a five pack of trashies. I bought the twelve pack for ten dollars. I always say buying the twelve pack gives you much better value, and I think you'll see that in the review that you get sort of better trashies in the twelve pack. I like to buy the toys because what I say is that if you're given toys. Well, then you start to have a bit of a skewed perspective on things. You sort of say, oh, these are great because I was given these for free. And that's actually wrong. I know there are a lot of YouTubers out there who are given toys for nothing. And you cannot give a subjective review once you've been given something for free. I like to pay for stuff. These are inexpensive toys. I've said that right from the start. These are great things to pick up for parties. They are just, you know, really good value when you compare them to the other toys, uh, which are in the toy shelves, which are around the same price. And uh, I've got a lot of time for these toys. Uh, my daughter's been into them since Series 1. And I say it as I see it. So there, that uh, five pack of trashies is actually the same cost as a single uh, Hot Wheels color changing vehicle. And that's talking about prices in Australia. The 12 pack of trashies is $10. And $10 is a very interesting price point because there's a whole bunch of other toys that I see that hover around $10. They might be like a dollar more. And they're not a dollar less, I can tell you that. They'll either be 10 or 11 or 12. But all the toys you see on screen here are actually around that $10 mark, and that's in Australia. They might be totally different where you live. It's an interesting argument, 12 trashies, or would you rather have this Angry Birds Telepod toy? How about the world famous Thomas the Tank versus 12 trashies? Which one would you pick? This will make you think 12 trash packs versus a little My Little Pony toy. Oh, there's a difficult one. A little Lego set like that. Or would you rather have 12 trashies? Or what about this robo fish? Would you like one robo fish? Or would you prefer to have 12 trash pack gang? But you know what? That $10 price point in Australia is a very curious one. There's a whole bunch more toys I can actually throw in on that. There's a bit of Hot Wheels there. There's whatever that is there. There's a bit of a Lightning McQueen. Or well, that can be wildly up and down. A bit of planes action. And I can even throw a few Octonauts in there as well. Oh yeah, when you start to analyse what's for $10 in the toy stores in Australia, it really does start to open up a huge variety of different types of toys. <coughs> well, howdy doody there! I'm excited. You know why I'm excited? Because I've forgotten what to say. <coughs> There's a beaker there. This is lovely. This is going to be big, I can tell you. There's the test tubes and those two other visible trashies. Oh, take to 12 pack we've got our little instruction booklet and game blah blah and series we don't need to see that and oh. on the trashy and it looks like it's got a virus all over it that's why i'm holding it with tweezers because this thing uh, would eat me alive if i touched it remembering it's a it's a germ well toy germ like i've got two evil virus filled containers oh <laughs> test tubes boys it looks like it's got a hole in it, so you could probably go and do the glitzy thing if, like I did. Oh, do another one. Uh -uh. There's something about this that has me doing a mad scientist voice. <laughs> Here come the ones out of the beaker. <laughs>